today we're going to be looking at some picks, and they are from a company called Acoustic Attack. And um, their picks are a little bit different. They have like these extra ridges on them that are supposed to like give you, you know, enhanced harmonics. I don't know. Well, let me read what it actually says on their site. Um, Attack pick guitar picks are uh, have raised structures on their tips with a single pluck of a string. These structures produce a pattern of multiple multiple strikes, which produces a series of waves at different times. This results in greater complexity and wave action when compared to that produced from the traditional picks. In turn, attack picks lead to various sound enhancements such as desirable harmonics, tones, brightness, and percussive effects. <laughs> well, let's uh, let's open them and find out. Oh, glue is strong. All right, what do we got here? Okay, we've got our shipping label or whatever paid for it. And then we've got the picks. And that is all that's in there. Come in a little Ziploc. It says acoustic Atara, attack pick on it, is what it says. Which I believe is one of their um, models. They have other models that have different names on them, but uh, these are just the ones I went with. <laughs> All right. Looks like we've got three different types of, well, three different shapes and then three different extra ridges on them. And um, I'll take a picture of all three of these so you know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, we will have to, uh, I'm going to grab the acoustic and we're going to uh, give all three of these a try. Plus, uh, we'll compare it to, uh, to just a normal flat pick. And uh, yeah, so uh, let's get going. All right, the uh, attack picks are um, pretty thin, so I went through my picks and found the thinnest flat pick I could. Um, I'm going to strum with this, and then we're going to go through each one of those picks to see what difference is. Um, and then maybe we'll compare those to each other. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, but um, I'm going to start with uh, this pick that has, like, three rows of ridges. And um, I'll put a picture of what pick it is. But, uh, yeah, let's just uh, compare. <laughs> Yeah, it definitely uh, had some extra tones going on there. Um, let's uh, let's try some single note stuff. Okay, that's uh, definitely made some extra tones in there, but it was harder to pick with. Um, The pick's grabbing a little bit, um, but I suppose that's just because it's you know hitting all those extra ridges. Um, <laughs> all right, well let's compare it to the uh, to this one here. Oop, dropped it. <laughs> this one here that has a kind of a V shape um, with the ridges. Okay, standard flat pick. Did that one seem brighter than the first one? Here's the first one. Here's the second one. No, pretty similar. Um, well, let's try the single note stuff again. We'll go to flat and pick. Similar to the other one. Um, well, I suppose we try the last one. The last one is this pick. And it's got like these, uh, just like lines. They're more... Uh, not as sharp. They got more of a rounded feel to them. So yeah, flat pick. Okay, that is the most similar to the flat pick. It's the flat pick. It's adding just a little bit. I'm curious to see what it's like when you're uh, doing single notes. Definitely um, is making a little different tone, but it is grabbing a lot. <laughs> Maybe just as much as the other ones. It's to me, it's grabbing the string more than the other ones, which is really strange. I thought with those rounded ridges, it wouldn't uh, grab as much, but it's grabbing more. Maybe it's because of these straight lines. They have these lines across the whole pick, and it's grabbing the string and 
along more of its area. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, they definitely give you a different sound. Now back to flat pick. I really noticed it with the upstrokes. Listen to this, flat pick. You can just hear some little bit more tones in there. This is the one with the V shape. Oh yeah, you're definitely there. And then this is the first one I tried. pick um i think they were kind of cool um they're not going to replace my regular picks i mean i'm just going to honestly say that right up front but um i think they're a very neat little tool that a person could use to um enhance their sound i think if you were recording it'd be great throw another you know if you wanted another acoustic on there and giving it a little bit different uh different sounds or maybe just uh you know when you're recording you're just a single acoustic you know it would give just a little bit of a cool uh cool twist on your normal you know, normal sounds. Um, I think even in a live setting, they'd be cool. You know, if you, you know, especially if you've got uh, maybe multiple acoustics live, you know, if you're doing a little acoustic duo or something, or maybe, uh, maybe, well, maybe I should try them with the electrics too, but um, <laughs> that may be another video. Um, but no, I definitely uh, am glad I checked them out. Uh, they weren't very expensive. This three pack was like, I think five, six bucks. Um, and uh, yeah. Just um, cool, and um, like I say, another uh, option for, um, well, options are cool. That's why we do this shit, isn't it? <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm babbling, and um, that's what I do. If you don't mind about a uh, guy babbling or a guy who can't talk, <laughs> a guy babbling about guitars um, or about picks or about strings or about pedals or, you know, anything guitar-related, <laughs> make sure you hit that subscribe down there and have your girl the channel, um, and uh, yeah. I'll see you in the next video.